let's see here. Hey, how's it going? Is there anyone out here that can hear me? <laughs> okay. I see, let's see. I see Fierce Corrin in the chat. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Kayo. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I'm just kind of sorting things out right now at the moment. Um, do I sound too loud, too quiet? Everything seems okay? I'm trying to have the audio in the background not be too much in the way as well. So thanks for at least stopping by to say hi. Yeah, I don't know how much I, I've actually told you that I do graphic design pretty much um, all the time. <laughs> at least now that I've been at home so much, so often I've been doing just nothing but designs here and there. Um, usually uploading those to Twitter, mobile backgrounds like like Twitter banners, um, more more stream overlays. Let me get this out the way here. I've actually been making my own, this own, hmm. this overlay here is actually something that I've made myself. So trying to get more things done lately. How do you, do you play Persona? <laughs> do you know Persona much at all? That's pretty much what this stream's gonna be, is doing a, a Persona background or a, a banner as well. Oh yeah, no problem. Feel free to lurk. I might just start off just in a, in a second or two, just trying to figure out what I'll be doing here. Okay. Smaller audience might be nice because I don't want to be too overly overwhelmed with keeping up with people in chat. <laughs> I did a test stream like the other day with a couple friends and that was helpful. Um, I had someone chatting with me though, so now I'm on my own. Let's see here. I'll just get this one started. So I've done some banners in the past for Persona 5 Royal, specifically um, all the character art that came out. I was trying to make sure to do one personalized banner for each character. Um, I think I'll do something like that today, but it's someone else, um, not necessarily one of the main characters. Let me try to pull this up here. Where are we? Oof, everything's all scattered. Man, this is I'm dropping frames here. Seemed okay last time, but I hope this holds out well enough. Oh, it's already here. I'm gonna drop this one in. So this is essentially what I was doing a few months ago, these kind of banners. Um, I want to try and make something that's like this, but not exactly. We're using, actually, let me go ahead and open them up first. Where are they? So many windows up here right now. I was gonna use the Twin Wardens instead for this one. Um, a different art style entirely, because everything here is so, like, dynamic and, and Pretty much like a, a comic strip here with different panels. Here it's going to be mostly the same, but I'll be using the Twin Wardens instead as the focus. Um, I thankfully already have done <laughs> the cutout because that would take too long to just cut them all the way out of the background here. 
Um, I got these guys a while. Uh, all the actual main cast, I got them a while back. Just trying to, um, you know, get something in mind for them. I did mobile backgrounds first, and then once the game actually came out, I was doing all of these. So I'm gonna try and make something kind of like this, but more towards the velvet room style because that's pretty much where the entire mood of the game changes is inside that place. Let me take a look here. It is hard to manage everything. <laughs> okay. Oops. Apologies if I'm not too chatty. I'm just trying to figure out how to how to manage everything at the same time. <clears throat> I've seen this image of like this is like the trifecta of things to focus on while you're streaming, which is pretty much use your brain, um, talk, and do art. And you can only commit yourself to two things. <laughs> One of those things has to go at all times, no exception. <laughs> so let me see what I can do here. Um, so I think I'll keep the same kind of format. So I do want to have the character here. And then I'll have different images on this side here, here. All out attack, promotional art. Um, this, was for this was supposed to be Confidant. I think I can find an image of them pretty easily. But from here, we're going to just start off. Uh, we'll put this really quiet back here so we doesn't get too much in the way. But obviously, I'm going to close this. We're focusing on this one here. So the blue, definitely need a velvet blue. We'll put this in the background. Oop. I'll leave that in the far background. This will fade away slowly over time. Okay. And, huh. So I don't want to exactly copy what I see right on here. So I don't want to make it exactly the same sort of graphic. I want to make it something that stands out a bit more. So what I like to do with these is I'll make a, it's just a tracing of what you'll see uh, for the borders. So it's not gonna, it's just a really kind of a sloppy job for now, but it's gonna come out a little bit better as time goes on. Do this here. It's gonna look obviously way too thick <laughs> to start off, but I'll be able to, to trim it down. I'll, I'll smooth it out and make it a little bit nicer as time goes on. Hmm. I have to make them stand out a little bit more. I wish I wish this clipboard was not so low. I want to add it somewhere. I mean, I maybe try to add it somewhere in here. Kristen, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. You're here just in time for me trying to figure out what in the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I gotta make sure I keep this large enough so people see what I'm doing. I always work, I don't know why, I always work with it just so tiny, just so I can see everything at once, but I need to make sure it's, it's large enough because not everybody has a, <laughs> the screen space to see everything going on. I'm doing okay. Um, I did like a test stream the other day with some friends and that was pretty helpful to figure out a lot of stuff. The audio was such a mess, like I, I couldn't get myself to hear, I couldn't get anybody else to hear. Um, I was so quiet. I hope I'm, I'm, I think I'm a pretty good volume now, but um, we're just trying to get things in shape in order here. But um, yeah, I'm babysitting the twins right now. <laughs> get this out of here. Anybody who's stopping in, um, this is it's not gonna look this this choppy. Don't worry. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna slowly get this going in here.
Wait a minute. You're hosting me. What does that mean? I'm so new to Twitch. Everyone is going to be just laughing at me. Just a second here. I had an idea of what to do, but the question is how to do it. So if someone goes to your channel or is following you, they'll see that they're hosting me instead. And they can watch me too. Oh, okay. I was wondering what that was. There was like a little widget to add when someone hosted me, and I was like, okay, I'll just I'll just have this here. But that's really nice. Thank you. Very much appreciated, of course. I think I'll have you stand out here. There's two different layers of the twins, so if I delete this one, Okay, there you go. So there's the one on top of this border, because this is just one layer right here. The whole black borders you see is one layer. So if we have one on top with just their head and legs sticking out, there's one. And then the bottom one is, well, there it goes for her torso, but <laughs> it's so you don't see that portion of her legs. Um, some imagery happening here. Oh, but her legs are a little bit caught here. We just won't tell anybody that we slightly extended the leg this way. Does that look natural? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's the thing. It has like these half-tone dots onto it. Like it has all these little, these white dots that are s softly over it. It just comes with the image. So I can't actually edit too much or else it's gonna look unnatural. So I'll probably just have to shift you two up. So it doesn't look like her leg just ends. We'll leave it there. And then of course I gotta deal with this now. I'm literally gonna be just talking to myself while I do this. It's just gonna be me doing my usual thing, but with no one around, except everyone is listening. Yeah, layers can be such a such an enemy to deal with, but. Especially when you get way too many going on over here. It, once you have like, once the whole list is filled and you gotta scroll up and down, it's like, oh no. I try to, to make folders if I can, or and name them, but to be honest, I don't think anybody really names their layers, whether you're doing drawing or, or graphic design. <clears throat> Let me actually, okay. Something I really liked that was going on here was the, the, the abstract chain links right here. So I'm going to try and replicate what's going on with this in a completely new layer here. So we can just take a square tool. I'm going to copy the color that's here. Oops. Go back. Oops, I should have done that too exact square from here. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller. And then when you hit control, when you hold the control button and you hover over any layer and you click on it, it'll select just that layer. So for example, I did that to the twins right now. So this entire selection is, is picked at the moment. And you can do it for any of these layers here, for the border I just did, for the squares I just did. I'm doing it for the smaller square right here. So when I delete this, oh, okay, so this is a this is a shape right now. I need to right click it and rasterize it. Because right now it's like an object that won't be distorted by how large or how small you make it. So once you've done that, 
you can just take that image right here um, as I was doing and then just hit backspace and you'll delete it you won't see it right away because this is still covering it but once you hide the layer that you use you'll have just this square so I'm gonna make this a diamond just tilt it over and oh boy I don't know how long I'll need it how large I'll need it so I'm gonna just kind of Oh, for capturing my desktop, um, I'm actually in Streamlabs right now, so I tried using OBS a little while ago, and then my friend said, why not try Streamlabs? So I did, and that just kind of worked out a little better for what I was trying to do. Um, oh man, I can't actually hear what song I'm playing. I just have it very lightly in the background. There must be a way that I can hear it while it's playing, but the way that Streamlabs has it, the, the output going, I just went ahead and have that play very lightly in the background. <laughs> but yeah, I just tried to make sure that um, that I could at least have everyone that's tuning in here at least a little something in the background so it's not totally quiet when I'm not talking. I got as much Persona music as I could that I already had in my computer and just dumped it here. So I'm going to be making a whole bunch of these here. You're going to be seeing me just making the same thing over and over. And you can do that pretty easily with this computer, with the windows, you hold alt, and whatever layer that you're on, um, you can click on it and drag it, and it'll just make a copy of that exact same layer for you to just place wherever. So I have four here now. Um, the easiest way I just deal with it is I just hit Control E. So when you hit Control E, it just makes it one singular layer. So I don't have to deal with way too many at the same time. Um, okay. So I'll make this a little smaller because it's pretty huge. But I'm going to do the same thing is hold Alt and drag it across. And this just makes it, it saves a lot of time so that you can actually make it without doing each individual square over and over and over. And then, it's a little thinner than this. I'm gonna control E, merge this all together again. I'm just gonna add a stroke to it. So you double click on that one. And then, stroke. Make sure that it's the same color as what you're working with. You can make it any color you want, but for my case, I needed to have it the same color. As large as we need it. It's not I was getting lost awesome in quality there. And then the actual link that goes on the side, I guess it's like, you're looking at this from a top-down view, this square, and then these ones are the same shape, but you're just looking at them from a different perspective, like from top-down. So it's essentially the same shape over and over. But if you had it like this, it'd be like you flip it over Like you're looking at it from a top-down view like this. Kinda like that. Although I'm gonna do it a little bit more cleanly than this right here. So what I can do is just take a rectangle tool. And we're gonna we're gonna make a shape. Or try to. Oh, I already have this open. So opening properties, I can just make this a lot more smoother. Enlarge places here. I'm spending a lot of time just making the assets. I hope I can get to the actual design itself soon enough. But basically, we're gonna do the same thing we did with the chain links. Just do that here, here, wherever I can. And I have it set for smart guides so that it kind of knows exactly how far the previous piece is. That's what all these pink lines are here. It kind of just snaps into place where I need it to go. Yeah. 
Sure. There it is. I hope this is enough. I'm gonna put this in a folder because there's just a bunch of rectangles here now. So I save some space here. So now it's all in one singular group and layer. I'm glad you find this interesting because <laughs> as a designer, like when I'm in school, this is just like second nature and I, I feel like listening to, to lectures and such like, yeah, I know how this goes and such, but kind of teaching somebody else is, is a nice different change of pace for me. I always, I personally always found like graphic design to not be as interesting as someone who can just draw from scratch because I still, I mean, obviously that's still fascinating. That's such an awesome skill to have. But I always, I, I guess it was in school that kind of put in my head that people who can draw digitally, traditionally on paper or on like your iPad, they're just a lot more talented than the ones that do graphic design because I guess there was also a time when I did a, um, a an internship who kind of put the, put the idea in my mind that, okay, he needs someone to do graphic design, right? But in the end, like, I, I guess he kind of took our skills for advantage, uh, for granted. He said, like, oh, you can just teach anybody off the street how to do graphic design. He's like, oh, I don't know about that. I guess I, I was a lot younger, and I took that a little bit more to heart. Um, but now it's just like, dude, you, you can teach somebody how to use Photoshop, but you can't really teach them how to convey, like, like this kind of dynamic. I don't want to say that my art's, like, awesome or... or I don't want to inflate my head or anything, but I think I have an idea of what looks good in design compared to somebody who you just like take off the street and say, oh, can you make this? Can you make this text look like this or that? I don't know. It's just something that bothered me when I was a, a lot younger doing design. Like It was like an internship in high school. So doing that in high school really made me see like the different kinds of um, like arts and mediums you can do. I never really considered graphic design until high school, so man, that, that seems way too long ago. I'm attempting to figure out what I'm doing at the moment, so let's see. I want to have this link, this chain link, going along the side. tell you that what you're doing isn't like good enough or cool enough or that, that anyone else can do what you're doing because I mean you're the one that took the time to, to start making something out of out of your talents out of your interests and hobbies yeah whether you start early on, whether you're, you're still doing it like me, you're always learning something, so there's always room to grow, always room to, to learn a little bit more. Even right now, like, I'm trying to, I feel like every time I do something new like this, I'm just like, okay, how in the world do I, do I make something like this? It's not, I feel like it's not very interesting to look at right now, <laughs> but let me, let me, hmm. I don't think this is long enough. We need to extend the chain links. They want, they probably would be more excited with more chain links. Did I make that uneven? Oh boy. Yeah, I think, I mean, if you're passionate about it, anyone can make anything interesting. about selling I don't know cabbages that could be interesting <laughs> I just watched Avatar like not long ago so I just I have the cabbage man in my head good show I, I can't believe I never saw that until recently un until it got on Netflix so we're gonna make this look like it's receding to this corner over here, a little bit larger up here. When you hit 
control T, it, it brings up this box. Or I guess you can also go to like edit, transform, free transform, that's what it is. And you can just kind of deal with the bounding box here. So when you're when you're in that form, you can hold control on the corner and you can just really warp the way this looks to however you want it to, to be and it's just like do it with multiple different corners. Um, it, it gets really crazy really quick but it's a cool tool. Um, as for how many more Persona 5 ones am I gonna do? I don't know. I actually wanted to do this but for Lavenza but I feel like is this a spoiler yet anymore? <laughs> because it's been so long. Royal is out and she's more prominent in that game, but until like the end of the game, which is where the, the new semester starts, I don't know how many of these more I'll do. Um, Cause this is definitely not like the other ones. It's gonna be a different kind of, of style of, the, of design. This is way different than like a time lapse because I feel like I'm just fumbling around as, as I go along. I know what I'm trying to do, I just need to do it. I'm grateful to anybody who shows patience in me as I try to figure things out. I think the most interesting thing of watching other people do art is like when, I mean, when you're doing a portrait, when you're doing digital art, um, like a, a, a character from scratch, you can always, there's always something going on as long as they're moving because you see the character slowly develop. Here, this has been static for like several minutes now and I'm just like, oh god. But let me get something going. I'm gonna use a pen tool for this. So, I'm going to try and make a shape around this here. And it's gonna probably change as I go along because I'm cutting it to them already. Too. I wish it was just in it more. Like, like she's the actual, as far as the Velvet Room attendants go, she's more of a classic attendant than the Wardens. Not that I don't like the Wardens or anything, but I don't know. I guess I just prefer someone that, that fits the actual Velvet Room aesthetic a little bit more. The little, the little like maid. <laughs> hear them now what are you doing inmate is that the best you can do I'm sorry their dynamic is pretty funny though yeah that's true I do love how you get to spend more time with them in Royal because you can actually there are certain days where you can just kind of go exploring it. It just calls back to like when you can take Elizabeth out and and go to like the park, go to different facilities, and you like go to pretty much everywhere that you can in Persona 5. Like all the little places you can take people dates on, you kind of just babysit them in like the restaurants and public locations and like the gym. That was pretty funny. 
Oh, you didn't hang out with them? That was actually pretty... I mean, it was all like... um, It wasn't voiced at all. I think for the first one was. But the rest of them were just kind of text-based. But they were pretty, they were pretty funny. One of them, you actually went to the maid cafe. <laughs> you took them to the maid cafe. It was just like the weirdest thing ever. And the, the maid is like trying to be super... You, you know their personality is like the kind of airheaded kind of oh i'm so sorry master i'll i'll do whatever you want and like <laughs> it was um gosh it was caroline who was who was getting upset as like like what are you people doing like like i, I just want to have this and she's being very like aggressive and then the, the the maid herself is just like, oh, you want that course, huh? And then she gets super aggressive. And she's like, oh, my little baby needs help with your food. And then Caroline's like, oh, my God. And she's like to totally stunned. And um, like Joker has to quickly like, de-escalate um, de the situation. It was hilarious. I, I would look. I would suggest looking the scenes up at least for the, the, the Twin Wardens where you go on different like not dates, but um, just hanging out at night. I guess I had so much time during certain nights because I was trying to max confidants that weren't available at that time. So I was just like, well, I guess I'm, I guess I'm babysitting tonight. But those are pretty funny. Yeah, like it, it, it's hard to commit to doing the twins um little hangouts because you have all these other priorities you want to do you have other confidence especially if you're on your first playthrough if you're like doing new game plus it's like well whatever i can i can pretty much max whoever at a much greater rate but first run yeah i understand goodness what am i doing okay I would expect me working at a slower rate than usual just because I'm trying to see what actually works as time goes. I do want to kind of like replicate what's going on with oops with this one. But I don't want to copy it exactly. Leaving him very softly in the background. This one should go under. We'll have this on top So I try to keep a separate extra layer just in case I screw something up. This one will always be like my backup right here. Once I get this chain link up, I'm gonna try and smooth out everything else that's going on around it, because these squiggly lines are just bothering me, man. I need order in here. Really? So when you turn down the first one, when you turn them down to hang out the first time, they don't ask you again? Wow. I figured they would just kind of sit there. They say they're available until a certain day, but I would assume that you can still hang out with, with them doing this uh, another time. So weird. Oops. 
it was kind of a hangout with Lavenza too, I think. Like once during the third third semester. Doesn't need to be perfect. It never needs to look perfect the first time around. You just have to make something show up there. You can build off of it, you can make it look a little nicer later. Um, let's turn this down just a bit. Jerry Confidant, at least once a step Haru with twins and never started Genius Confidant. Oh man, that poor boy. It is hard to kind of get into his. I mean, he's, he's just a brat. <laughs> he's a straight up brat. Like, you learn more about him and his like family issues and all that, but of course, every Confidant, every Confidant, every social link starts off on a way different tone than how it ends off, like every time. I don't know if there's anyone that, that kind of holds the same kind of mood to the very end. But yeah, that one, I don't know. I mean, I did it for literally, I, the, the, um, the amount I did it in my playthrough of Royal was literally just for like the gun skills that he offers. Um, but even then, like in Royal, it's the gun's a lot more like, like it's buffed because you don't have to wait an entire day to, to get it to work again. You only have like a few shots and you're done. And just starting it too, I remember with Shinya, you have to like go into Mementos and do a battle that you can't win because the, the guy's a, a cheater with the guns and just like, oh my god, I'm spending so many days when I could do something else at the same time. Time is precious. You can't spend it on these children. These sassy children. Yeah, and then EY, like, it's so intimidating in, in the fact that he is intimidating, in the fact that you can't start it like you're given the option to start it way early but your guts have to be like rank four out of five and it's like the the second month of the game and you're like oh i can't i can't <laughs> he's scary i do like his though i mean it, it's him former mafia um raising a son who doesn't want to have him involved in the mafia and you know, it's, it's a he's just trying to be a good dad and you see that throughout the thing and, and in the end he's kind of like you're, you're good friends with his son and you're helping him out it's just another dad to add to Joker's list Chojo's the true dad though so he can't top that one This is straight out plenty. I'm just gonna lasso tool this out of existence so that this, this blotches are gone. It's a little sharper. Uh, I'm gonna add this a gradient. So this layer doesn't need to be here. What are the colors here? We got like a dark blue. We got, I guess, Gradient tool. Boy, do I abuse gradients. We're gonna drag this here. Oof. Too dark. The other way. I always get the way wrong. Get it over there. And it won't be this dark. I just want to have a bit of a 
bit of a show in there. Hey, seriously. I used Shinya for like that one purpose and then I just like see ya and hung out with Haru for the rest of the game. Non-party confidant to go through. Man, I guess that would be... Um, I want to say Hifumi. Like, I like her as a character, but her confidant is like pretty much just her dealing with her way too expected mother. I don't know. Like, I like the character so much, but I guess the confidant was the most exciting, to be honest. Um... I guess I liked, I kind of like Sojuro's to be honest because you you just see throughout the story how he kind of changes on you over time. Um, he's trying to to be everyone's best dad for Futaba and eventually for Joker as well. They're both like um, they they both become closer to family even though they're technically aren't towards the end. Yeah. Tora too. I uh, Tora's interesting. Politics aren't my thing, but it's interesting to see a story through it. Um, it's really cool that, like, like I know politics isn't the, my best thing, but to kind of take a peek into it with Persona, like Atlas kind of shows you what the Japanese politics can be like. It's just I don't know. There are some definite parallels to other politics, like in America. You, you, we're here in America, we're thinking we're so like right about everything. Uh, we're not <laughs> we're definitely not considering the situations we're in right now but i don't know it's just interesting to look at politics from a different culture i guess that was that was something that wasn't entirely my thing but i appreciate being able to look into it i don't think i even finished his and royal no i don't think but yeah sojiro coffee dad um, okay, so this needs to have more going on for it. So something that I've done for other, for pretty much these ones too. Oh, now he's hiding in the back. For these ones, we have more art in the background. So we're going to try and add something that's like that. We're going to hide you for now because I need this later. Um, so if we're going for the same kind of format... We're going to be adding other pictures here. So in this corner here, we have... They're all out of attack. I've never actually gotten hit by this, but its I'm so happy that there's something like this in the game because like, you're used to seeing your all attack all the time, obviously, and it's just a bull red and everything is just getting like destroyed. And then you have the twins here where if you get hit by everybody's weakness and they... You, they fall everybody and then they start an all-out attack. It's like pure blue for velvet and you just get decimated and they do like a freaking tango and then and then <laughs> there's like the don't be cocky in the background. It is so great. I'm pretty sure Lavenza has one too and she looks like a little crazy in that one. But yeah, traditionally every velvet room member you can fight at one point or another. Bigly! Hi Bigly, how are you doing? I'm glad you made it to this one too. Bigly Boof is a great artist on Twitter. Um, got to work with her on the Path of Radiance zine, Radiance, um, about a year back now and we've just been keeping up with each other. Oh, that's right. She has a, f she pulls out the chainsaw from the, from like when you, when you fail a, uh, 
a, uh, a, a execution, a fusion. She pulls out the chainsaw in battle and gets you with that. <laughs> That's amazing. So we'll have that in that spot. Um, normally the top. Oh, wait, maybe I have. Hold on. Let me look for something here. Yeah. While that's loading, I'll put this one here as well. I'm really a fan of this art here, so I feel like, I guess with graphic design, I feel like I'm cheating sometimes because I'm using other people's art in my art, but compositing is just something that's part of graphic design. Like, I guess I wouldn't tell anyone to be afraid to use something as long as it's not like entirely using the entire the, the entirety of the art is, is being copied. I wouldn't suggest, you know, obviously putting it straight down. I'm going to be doing more editing with this one here too, but at least getting the, 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 the thing down. Give us some dynamic portions here. Yeah, this, this as with the other art, it's going to have the same characters in it so many times. Like this one has Joker here. Up here in the corner, when the paw screen over here, kind of following that same format. Oops, did I miss something? Oops, I moved this around. I think that'll work. I'm gonna lasso tool this. So just lasso anything that's not needed. And luckily we have these bold black lines to kind of play around with and go around very precariously. <laughs> Delete, there's that. I think I'll add the, the graphic layer here, the gradient map. I use so many gradient maps, it's ridiculous. So this one's gonna have just um, over these two right here. Uh, that's way too dark. Don't think it needs to be that dark. Lighter, lighter. Need that velvet blue going on. We're doing good, Bigly. We're um, we're back on Persona. <laughs> I'm just I'm just comfortable with this at the moment because that's how I started to do the last stream as well. Um, with that Joker banner, we're just kind of I'm just filling this out to be honest. I feel like I gave myself a complicated one to start with for, to be honest for the first one, like for the first official stream, but it's okay. I'm gonna figure this out as we go along. Oh, that's not even showing now. Oh goodness, the layers. Her torso. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe I should. Well, we're gonna figure that out as we go. Here's the other piece. So this one's going so many images we're gonna put this in the corner the top left corner can't even see it this one it's such a mishmash right now like looking at the, the process is like what is happening what are you doing Graphic design can be super chaotic. Is this even what I want? Thanks guys. I'm glad this is looking okay right now. <laughs> I still have like some other ideas I want to do. Um, the uh, Persona stars that you always see, like in everything that they do, I think there's some right here, like this 
these stars that are going on here. I want to try and do these as well and show how they're done. This is a pretty easy way to replicate that same design style. Let me just select only, only this portion. I think we'll keep it like this. I hope my audio is okay because I keep like turning back and forth away from the mic as I'm speaking. Um, where is this layer? So goodbye. Here's all this. Hmm. Oh yeah. We uh, live by not naming our layers. Most designers do. If you name your layers, I don't know. I, I, if you name every single layer, I don't know. I would question you as a designer. But I'll name. I'll absolutely name some layers, like like the groups that I do for this. I should have named it something. I'll be for the bigger ones, for the files that I'll be coming back to often. Those ones are the ones that are that are important to me, but I can only name everything. Naming layers is for the weak, indeed. Okay, from here, what in the world? I feel like I have such a long way to go. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to replicate another design pattern that's on here. Um, how would how would you describe like this background here that's going on? Like these squares and these circles. It, it looks like the texture you would see on the Velvet Room seats. You know that kind of very plush, elegant style of 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 furniture. I'm gonna try and make that as well and put it in their background which shouldn't take too long. I'm just gonna make a square. Yeah, the fancy cushion. <laughs> the fa I'm gonna make the fancy cushion texture right now. So we're gonna make it the same blue with the eyedropper. Paint bucket. I'm sorry, girls. So we're gonna make a square. I don't know how thick this square should be, but we're gonna just fill it with black. This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna fill this with black, and here, we'll go to fill. You can just remove the fill. Oh, it's, oops. Oh, goodness. I actually did it on the same layer. New layer, so that's on its own thing, and then you fill it. Now it's by itself. Okay, so when I remove fill, it'll make it slowly disappear. So if you put it to 0%, it's different than opacity, actually. Opacity is the entire image visibility. Fill is just everything that's actually not adjusted layers. So if you double click on this layer here, I can go to stroke, make it a black stroke, right? And then if you remove fill, it keeps the stroke on there. You can still see this, but you don't see what, what the actual square was. Um, if you do opacity, that's the entire thing, so now it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so weird to like... I, I always wonder what fill was. Like, why is there two separate? But it's, it's really helpful, actually. So for that, oops. We're gonna select this, hold alt, and... and we're gonna just keep replicating the same one, nudge it over so that's even. And then you can hold shift, select both, and then make it this way. Kind of nudge it over, make sure it's even. And then you can hold shift again to hold to grab everything that's over here and hold alt and drag it over and then now you're just they're multiplying. They're everywhere. I'll do that one more time with just these four to fill this square out. And this is, this doesn't need to be perfect, it's just going to be part of the background. 
But now I got a mess of <laughs> layers here. So, first of all, they all showing the effect, the effects for the stroke. Is this is this all of them? Okay, that's all of them. We're gonna put them in a folder, in a group. Welcome to layer hell. <laughs> So we'll do that, and then we're going to enter another layer of layer hell by doing it this direction. Make sure it's even. Dragging it down. Because if you did, if you did every single square one at a time, I would go insane. But this way, you can kind of leverage your sanity and just do it all in multiplication I think that would be enough I'm gonna do just one more down here so this hmm. is there an option? I thought there would be an option here but what I'll just do is select all of them hit control E and now they're all exactly one layer itself so we have the base here now I have to do oh boy I have to do basically the same thing for the little the little circles here that make it look like the the cushion is being like pinned down I don't know why I'll never understand why the antique stuff does that but they're antiques I'm just gonna make an elliptical circle starting right here um, depending if you hold shift, if you hold alt, they'll do different like shapes depending on which button you're holding down. If you hold shift and alt, it'll do the same exact shape within that space. So I'm going to make a little circle here. This one might not be perfect because I'm going to be copying it to each little, at least for this layer, each little where they really all meet so this won't take long I promise it won't take long <laughs> is the music getting weird I try to make sure that it was working okay by checking how the stream looked in my laptop earlier, but if it's changing midstream, that's going to be an issue. This is definitely the least exciting part of, <laughs> of what I'm going to be doing for sure. I, I'm glad people are willing to sit through this. I'm going to select everything here. It's all one layer now. Drag it down. Pretty much the same thing we just did. This is so weird. Like, this is exactly the kind of thing I would sit in my college class listening to my teachers telling me, how do you do this? How do you do that? And it, it's like I'm in a seminar now. It, it's really quiet. It's just me talking. Everyone's just quietly. This, this is online class. This is your quarantine online class digital graphic design lesson now. You may call me professor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So here's the actual texture. It looks uh, more or less like this here. I'm gonna group everything, just everything, and make it a tiny bit lighter. So the audio gets kind of crazy at times. Um, as long, as long as you can hear me, okay, that's that's fine. I might turn the audio off. If it gets too weird, if it gets too strange sounding, I'll just turn the audio off. But I'll leave it here for now. Um, am I really that interesting of a design professor? <laughs> that's really nice to hear. Thank you, Bigly. You're always so supportive. I wish I was this supportive to my friends. Oh boy, here we go. So here's this texture. We're just gonna lay it on here. 
It's gonna be just their background though. Huh, it kinda looks like now they're laying on a cushion, to be honest. Okay, so that's for them. Let me get, let me take a moment, hang on. Least excited, least interesting part, excited for the part where I start the second phase of the final graphic design boss. <laughs> We're entering the second phase. We're somewhere in the second phase right now. I gotta make, oh my gosh, I gotta make the stars. That's probably what I'll do next in just a moment. If this is helpful to like anybody, if, if, if you guys learn anything from, from any of this, I think it's all worth it. Like this is not something I've tried to do before. Um, pretty much the, the, the time last videos I've done, I kind of practiced talking it out while I was doing those. But I kind of like stumbled. I think having someone to talk to is definitely definitely helping to have an actual chat here with you guys. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's just, you know what? Let's just forget this clipboard is here. I'm gonna take the pen tool and just kind of draw around this shadow because this shadow will still exist. Uh, it's gonna go off the page though because it's way in the corner. So here, here, here. I'm gonna hold Control. If you, so down here is my paths. So whatever I'm making with the pen tool, that's the path that's showing up here. If I hold control and click it, you see the little dot showing up. So kind of like with up here, if you hit control and you click on any character, like the twins, for example, they'll select that. But this kind of works the same way where you can do with paths. So if you do that, whatever layer you're selecting, it'll delete just what's in that section for that image. So I actually have two layers of the twins because of the layering, but if I go on both and delete it, this will disappear. And just to make sure it doesn't look odd still. I'll look both like that, okay. I'm gonna select this again. But now I'm gonna go to select. Invert. Inverse. So by doing inverse, it does exactly what it says. It'll select everything except that now. So if I try to, like, for example, draw on here, on this layer, with, well, you don't see it, but on this layer, it'll show here, but now it won't go in here instead. So being able to inverse is really helpful. The only reason I did that was so I can make sure that this doesn't show as well. So I'm just gonna smudge, smudge tool this. Is this the layer? No, 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 layer. This is the layer. These little dots, we're just gonna ignore them for now. <laughs> just forget there was a clipboard down here. I guess I could replicate the dots. I should probably do that before I get too lazy. So I'm gonna click on this to get a uh, eyedropper to make sure that's the same exact one. And then I'm going to adjust the brush size small enough that it looks just like this. Is that a five point? I'm so particular, more or less. Oh, it's too soft. Oh, it's hard. Oh, really hard. That is the best we can do. Unless, well, no. To be honest, it's going to be far away enough that we're not going to notice. I don't think we'll even notice this at all, to be, to be fair. If we zoom out far away, it's kind of just not even noticeable. Although there is a bit of a, a white... 
This is what you're going to be dealing with, guys. Me being very particular about what you're seeing. Just be a black line. I'll just smudge out of existence. This is the clipboard, isn't it? Oh no, it's a card of the Arcana. Now it's not. It was never there. It was actually never there. half hour on one little nitpick. <laughs> oh goodness, I need to look. I need to look at chat more. Yeah, all this time I spent here, it's really helpful to figure out like what in the world these tools do, how to make little like abstract designs, um, the background here. I, I definitely wanted to make a stream where I'm showing myself actually creating something, not just compositing the entire thing. So that's thankfully something I can accomplish here. Back in college, all my professor did was um, try to teach, get bored, put on zombie videos up for the class to watch. It was an easy A, but man, I learned nothing from doing it. That's true. When you get into a class that's like an easy A, it's like, at, at, at the time, for some people it's like, alright, I just wanted to get a good grade and move on with my life. But for, for, for classes where you actually want to learn, it's so important to have someone who's engaging, who wants to teach you. Um, those are the class, those are the teachers I remember the most, the ones that were just kind of excited and a little bit jittery when they want to like start teaching because you know that they're passionate about it. That's something I, appreci I would appreciate having now more being a college graduate, just to have someone who really knows their craft, really is excited to teach their craft. I only, I honestly only had like a few of those in my experience, so I, I feel like I've learned more teaching myself and watching other people do things too, than actually doing it myself, or than actually being in class myself. Okay, so we're gonna bring this back. We're gonna bring back Oh, but your hand is in the way. Why is your hand in front of the clipboard, but behind the arcana? Oh, girl, why? No, we're still gonna use it. We're still gonna make do. We're gonna be crafty about it. So we're gonna select just the clipboard. I'm using the pen tool to just cut across here. It's a PNG file, so we don't have to be super accurate. Hold control on the paths and select it this way. And we can just drag it out. It's free. You can drag it in here instead. It's a nice large file because I didn't shrink it yet. So I had to open the original one. So that's going to be somewhere on top. I don't know exactly how we're going to make this function. Compositing hell, man. La Force. This may or may not work. <laughs> We're going to leave it here for now. We're gonna have to do some fancy work to kind of to kind of make this disappear. Yeah, growing more as an artist once you enter certain social media, it's like I started 
I, I literally joined Twitter like a week or two after Smash Brothers Ultimate was announced because I saw all the renders, all the art. I was like, these are amazing. I wanted to make something with those. And on the website, they have like, you go to every character's profile, you see the character in the background, a very simple but clean background. So I did that to start. And I did it with like a few characters that I like, um, Lucina, Link, Mario, just to, just to do that. And then like, I just posted on Twitter and be like, oh, well, I'll just see what happens. And there are people who appreciated it and liked it. And I started doing more and more. I was like, wow, I'm going to do all the characters, aren't I? <laughs> And in the end, I eventually did, and we're still doing them. I did Nimmin's part after she was released. And whoever comes up next. I am holding out for a Tails character still. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. Um, okay. So these stars, my goodness. This is probably the last kind of like shape trick I'm gonna do here. So if you go into the polygon tool, I don't know if this option is available on older versions of Photoshop because it sure wasn't for my laptop. Um, but up here you can determine how many sides it has, if it's a smooth shape, if it's a star shape. And so obviously by putting it by five and by checking mark um, the star, you can make it into a star. So we're just gonna do that, that style that you see so much of Persona, the, the black and white stars. Um, I think I made this on the other stream as well when I did the test, just because I wanted to try and um, at least have something educational while I was doing it. So this should be black. And then, kind of like what I did with the chain links a while ago, I'm just gonna. Control J makes a copy in place. Um, I'm gonna need to rasterize these layers because I'm gonna be playing with multiple layers of it. So rasterize, rasterize. So this one on top, we're gonna shrink it in place. Oh, that's what I did. I can't see it. So color overlay, we're gonna make this white. So it's the same exact, for some reason it's not perfect. I need to like nudge it one or two with the arrow keys just because for some reason it's not a perfect centering. We're gonna control J, do the same exact thing. But this time we're gonna, ooh, boy, don't do that. We're gonna remove the color overlay, so if you can see it this time, shrink it a little bit more, nudge it just a tiny bit, and we're just gonna keep doing this until we're until you're happy with how much you got going on there. I need to tell it to show you the color overlay, <laughs> or not, depending on what color you're working with. Definitely a lot more complicated, but much better looking than what you'll make. No. We all start, I mean, some of my early stuff looks horrid. I would never want to go back to that. But at the same time, some of the early stuff I did, it was kind of nice. Like, there's always something to appreciate about your early art, I think. Whether you're just starting out, whether you've been doing it for a while. Um, you just kind of look at what what you where you were, what you were learning as you went along. That goes for any kind of craft. So this this is more or less what's going on there, down here with this one. Um, let me just do one more, just so the center is black. You guys might hear a motorcycle or a car driving by. We're like right next to a street, so I hope it's not too intrusive.
Everyone's going vroom vroom. I'm supposed to say home. Jeez. Oh no, layer hell is creeping up on us again. So group this. This is the bottom. No, the set the bottom. This is gonna be the name layer star. We've named a layer. So I can do whatever the heck I want with this at this point. I'm going, there's a clear cut of the clipboard here, but you know what? No one's gonna know because, <laughs> well, first I'm gonna copy this because we're gonna need more of that. Keep copies of your highest resolution shapes because you'll probably need to come back to it. You may need to do more with it. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So, clever, right? <laughs> I didn't even know this render existed of the twins for a long time. Like, I knew there was one for all the Phantom Thieves. And there was one for Maruki too. And Lavenza. But I didn't know there was one for the twins. Yeah, there's someone on Reddit who actually used a couple of my large, um, the really large PNG files for the other Phantom Thieves, and they were making like animated backgrounds, like very gently animated, like their arms would move uh, very slightly and sway, and they would blink, and they asked me to, to use some of theirs, like, sure. Um, if I find that, I'll, I'll definitely try putting that on my desktop to show people next time I have a stream. But that's how I found these ones too, like, wait a minute. And then Atlas was promoting, giving themes away like this for, for free for people who earn trophies in the game. I was like, I didn't even know this existed. Oh boy, this hand is bothering me. There's like a hand, her hand is right here. Why couldn't it be underneath? You're supposed to be holding your clipboard. Well, we're gonna try and cover that up. Maybe? What can I do? Because the, the half tone, these little dots that are naturally ingrained into the image kind of make it hard to remove the shadow here. Although, maybe you won't notice. You won't really think about it when you're looking at it as a whole. At least I hope so. Aka, you're here! Hi, how's it going? It's okay. If you're if you're busy elsewhere, I know and I understand. <laughs> Don't worry if you can't talk too much. I think I'm handling myself here well enough, hopefully. I'm just working with the twins at the moment. Um, I am attempting to make this pretty. Let's see. Okay, so in this version, okay, there was a persona in the background, but the twins don't really have a persona. So really all I did was have this. Oh, this, they got this design going on. I don't know if I can do that here. This is crazy. What did I do this for? Attempting and succeeding, thank you. <laughs> okay, so this start, where did I hide it? This one. We're going to just make a copy of it. It's gonna be a rasterized layer. There, it's all fused into one now. I just hit Control E on the layer so that it's all just one. And I'm gonna color overlay this with, I hope this works. Okay, I could just do it like that, okay. Because it's white. Because I remember when I did this, there were some lighter colors too. Like, the stars are not just black overlay. There's also some highlight, highlighted ones here too. And that's how they like to, to kind of break up the design without being just insane with textures. Oh. 
gosh, I thought I closed it, but it's right here. <laughs> you all are wonderful to work with, no matter what I'm doing. <laughs> TMS zine, Radiant zine, other streams. <laughs> what is the next scene? And thank you. I'm glad you like it too. It's just more persona. I'm just I'm just milking away at the persona un until I figure out like what the heck I'm gonna be doing more often. Maybe next time will be like Fire Emblem. Who knows? There's, oh goodness, there's stars everywhere. Oh my god, okay, these two are gonna go over here. You need, I need to isolate you guys. It's just for a small texture around down this way. So go under here. Go, what? Oh. We are descending into layer hell again. Down, down here, okay. Oh. We're gonna go here. We're gonna adjust it. Just tilt, tilt a little, just a little bit, so it's not like a straight up star, standing up straight star. Yeah, here's Corin. It's like all I all I really focus on on Twitter usually is Fire Emblem, Persona, Smash Brothers. Um, I do want to do more, more tales, because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna die on the hill that says Lloyd is gonna be on Smash in Smash Brothers or somebody, somebody from Tales, because it's it's really just like the third after Dragon Quest after Final Fantasy. I feel like not enough people know that Tales is probably the most prestigious RPG that's the JRPG that's out there, and. Like, not everybody's a fan, they're just gonna have another sword fighter with, with two swords now. But, uh, we'll see. We're gonna see if that happens. This is too small, I feel like I'm working too small. I'm just, I'm just replicating these stars. I'm just making a, a, a party of stars down, down here. Turn, turn it, make it smaller. This is the madness I deal with. Where's the larger one? Oh god, I'm hitting all the other ones. I wish I could hear what song is actually playing right now. <laughs> It's a design choice. <laughs> Make them all one, and just and just click, click, click that away. It doesn't belong in there. I'm sorry for covering your face. What? Okay. Holy moly. I'm gonna leave at, at like that for just a moment. Um, <laughs> You're in a Final Fantasy dungeon at the moment. It's all good. Just having you come say hi is nice. It's always nice to see you, of course. Never played a Tales game. Um, we were talking about this yesterday or the other day. I would suggest Symphonia. That's the first one that came out in the West, um, overseas, really. That that most people latched onto for the GameCube. But it's also available on Steam. There's a lot of Tales games on Steam. 
um, Dysteria, Versaria, which I would probably play after doing different Tales games. Vesperia is on the Switch, so that's very accessible right now, and also a very good game as well. Oh man, let me see here. I haven't done any text, oh boy. There's so many things. There's so many components to this. What have I done? What am I doing? The layers are taking control of me. So this this blue, I like this blue. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take you here. Alright. Blue color overlay. This one. This one. Wait, why are you so weird looking? Oh. Who's in here? What are you doing? Oh wait, I should probably do the other shapes first. Berseria is great. I've actually been replaying it here and there lately. Tales of Exilia. Uh. I mean, I enjoyed those too. I actually am a fan of the second game. It, the Luger, assigned protagonist as he is, um, I like him. I mean, he deals with debt. It, it's too relatable these days. He's he's just <laughs> poor guy is riddled with debt. Yeah, that's like the only Tales game where you can pick between different weapons mid-fight. You can do a sledgehammer, twin blades, the gun, which I admittedly didn't use the gun very much because I just wanted to swing a sword or a hammer. This will be a lot simpler, I think. What's going on with you? Oh no, not white. What are you talking about? Oh. My bad. Don't worry about that. I am... Um, everything is just fine. This will be the blue star. Pretty much what this is right here. But it's going to be a little more dynamic than that. Other than what you see here. Can we hide your hand? Can we just gently hide your hand? Okay, thank you for coming, Bigly. So nice to have you here. Um, stay safe in that storm. I'll see you soon. Yeah, Christian, you and Akka, fans of Velvet, what do you think of having her in Smash? <laughs> if she was a Smash character instead of, like, the ones that are are being expected to, be, to pop up like Yuri or Lloyd. Very different um, fighting style, that's for sure. We briefly talked about that yesterday, the other day. I, I would still be like, why Velvet? But I also wouldn't mind. There are not enough 
like women in Smash still. We only Min Min is literally the first one in Ultimate DLC that is just a female. We have uh, Byleth, but not not everybody counts that. I kind of count it, I guess, because they're so different that there are different portraits on the Smash website, and they make a point to say that it's both of them. But I don't know. Velvet, Luger, or Saray? Yeah. Sadly, none who have appeared on a, a Nintendo console, but I guess that didn't stop other characters from showing up, too. Can you imagine Saray having the different Seraphim kind of swap in and out different elemental attacks? That'd be crazy. That'd be a cool way to introduce more than one character in a, in a character. It'd be somewhat like Joker and Arsene, like an assist character that's there, but not really. Sorry, I'm totally blanking out now. What did this just say? There's a very teeny tiny star in here that's a like a baby blue. Why are you over here? Come back. Yeah, seriously, there's already so many good ones in there now. I don't even know who I would have aside from a Tails character. Like Everyone that comes in now, I'm, I'm good with it. <laughs> Arms character, sure. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 character would be nice too. Seeing how Min Min got in. Arms was in the same time period where it was an awkward, like, we knew the game was coming out, but we couldn't implement the character. So, that would, that would definitely please a lot of people still. Rex and Pyra, that's the one. That's the pair. How would they work, I wonder? Okay. Yeah, I hope your playthrough of Xenoblade 2 is going smoothly. I know the controls are so like, uh, there's so many things to keep track of in a, in a fight, but I'm hoping that as time goes on, you can um, appreciate it still. <laughs> what if I just... What was giving you trouble last night? I can't guarantee I'll remember what it is, but... If I can help, I can. I know the struggle of learning that game. <laughs> and the gotcha. Oh, the word the gotcha. Just get Mithra. Man. Those two are a pain. And it's like... <laughs> it like... The fact that... I know it should be hard, but the fact that it, it gets that hard, and then you have a major plot point that happens 
literally a new character introduced and then you lose, it just kind of kills the momentum. <laughs> Gotta walk all the way back. They're waiting there and it's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. That game has so many surprises. and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Very recent games. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Whether it's new or not, you, you know what you like. probably says inmate in it <laughs> so I can put it similarly to this right here but what would I put get back to work inmate <laughs> something like that One of them's constantly mean. The other one's kind of chilled out. No, 
Oh yeah. Man. It's been a while since I've heard their battle quotes. I'm trying to think of some of the things that they said, like, at, just as you go in the velvet room, or go out of the velvet room. Just something that you would hear pretty often. Gosh, why am I blanking so much on that? What are these quotes? The sushi didn't do anything wrong, says Yusuke at some point in the game. Sojiro, I hunger, I thirst, Utapa. The only quote on here is like, will this truly help you? When you make something, when you make like a weak persona. Oh, you have the gallows one too. We're gonna string them out real good. Let's execute him. Yeah. People are gonna be hearing me saying this, and it's like, are you okay, dude? Why are you talking about execution and stringing out people? Too fancy or complicated. How do I structure this? I hope it's not too basic. I just wanted to have something, some more text on here to play with. So actually, we're gonna make this a little more dynamic. I'm gonna just kind of cut out the shape that this is, 
this is pretty much the white you see right here is pretty much me laying out the dough and I'm now making my own cookie cutter It's 11 p.m. for you right now. It's like uh, 2 in the afternoon for me. That's a tricky thing. Like, I know there are some people that wanted to watch this at the same time, um, but there's some people who have work, they have finals to study for, they live on a different side of the world, so it's like, oh, I'm sorry guys. I'll try to vary it too. I also want to play like some kind of game on here. People can watch me play, like, Majora's Mask or something. <laughs> Stupid time zones. Always getting in my way. From making friends. But I guess this is available to watch for a little while after, too. So if anyone really wants to see what this was like, they can get the, the shorthand version. fact that there are people watching now, it's like, oh, it's so nice. So this entire, entire background, it all, it honestly all kind of blends. So if I go down here, I'm going to make a layer beneath, I'm using the pen tool again. Actually, going to extend this a bit out, just to further show that the board. Oops, what the heck came out there? Just to put more emphasis that they're on top of this layer, but they're going to be below this one. So my visuals are going crazy. That's still open too. Okay. What is going on with that? Okay. <laughs> oh boy, it wouldn't be a proper Photoshop stream if the layers didn't go crazy just a little bit. telling me I need to calm it down. <laughs> oh, so you can upload these to YouTube as an archive. Okay. I might ask about that later. Once I get a handle of what I'm doing. This is Photoshop telling me I need to go to a different tool right now because it is glitching out a little bit on me. Alright then. Path tools, you can just do that for now. I need to get all these black layers in one if possible. Or maybe not, I would just go below it. We're figuring this out together. But I need the pen tool. save this and reopen it because that tool is going a little crazy.
bring it right back. Just a sec. Okay, there we go. Every every little bit of software in Adobe just pretty much every kind of editing software where you make something creative. There's always something that you have to learn about it. It's a little strange about it. There are all these little children who have their own problems and you need to figure out. I'm just like, oh, I just, I just want it to work. I want to do what I want. I'm going to make very light outline highlights for these to make that pop just a little bit more. Hopefully it's not going to look strange. We're getting closer to getting this done. Oh. That's over that layer. Where is this layer? some water soon. Doing these is pretty major for me because I've always grown up like in a place where I didn't need to speak very much. Like my parents would be at work, I'd be at home, I'd be playing my games. I don't think I really learned to communicate very well with people growing up as an only child. So like, I've always had problems just holding conversations, trying to um, speak clearly, uh, articulation. That's always been kind of a, a problem for me to do and deal with. So having the support to, to do this and you know just going through with it is helping. Really not my forte, I, I thought at least, but I don't know. I, I, just, I see so many people doing streams and YouTube and just all kinds of creative outlets, and I'm just like, man, I want to do something like that too. Probably not in the same capacity just yet as others, obviously. Mostly get the majority of this done here. Um, might try to wrap up in just a little while, and then whatever tiny touches I need to add to it, I'll probably just do that off of here and, and upload it a little bit later. Maybe tonight, maybe early tomorrow, depending on how much extra work I try, try to give myself for this. But um, it has been an experience. People try to tell me that you know, anyone can do graphic design in the past, but I mean, sure, anyone can. I mean, it's, but are they the ones trying it or practicing it? It's, they're the ones that the ones that are doing should not be getting told by the ones that aren't doing how they should do their their work. That's just partially how I see it, I guess. <laughs> Is this layer? I will 
be your moral support if you needed to be. Jeez, it's been two hours since I've been doing this. Time just flies. And I realize I did a small mistake. This white background is on the same layer as the little, like, cushion. I'm pointing at the screen, but, like, no one can see it. <laughs> I need to cut that out, cut this away, paste it again. Oh, boy. I guess I could make, make a listen out of this. So when you have something selected like this right here, I don't know if you can see the little little ants crawling across, you can cut it with Control X and it's gone, right? So it's on your clipboard. But if you, if you need it in the same spot, you can go to Paste Special, Paste in Place, or hit Control Shift V and it'll just stick it right where it just was. Because if you don't, if you just hit paste, it'll go towards the middle and it's just not helping you right there. So if you need something exactly in the same place, you can do that. Yes, the ants. <laughs> we call it the little ants. Because they're just, they're little ants, look at it. They're just little ants crawling around in a, in, in a little line, in a little formation. We gotta explain things in layman's terms here. When you have the selected attributes, <laughs> I don't even know how I would word it. I don't know how they said it in school. Some of them just said ants. Um, what else would I do? Okay, this, boom, here. You're like this. I don't know what I'm putting in this little area. Oh no. Selected attributes. It's all a game to me. It's all just a game. How's your rank dealing going? Haven't seen you climbing the ranks in a while now on the streams. Christian, you should do it on Discord. I mean, you should take what you're doing on Discord, do it on Twitch, then we can all watch. I will promote you, and we can all watch you become the queen of games. definitely have the resources like I know a bit about it now um, the whole a lot of people in the discord server know about it um, how to and the, the, the know-how and the how to involved so I think it just depends if you have a good setup like your computer can handle it uh, whether or not you have like the mic and so on So you're already in platinum, that's good. Very nice. who are watching I ask does this look persona the wild cuts 
the framing, the borders, the dynamic looks, the stars. I guess it's been a while since I've worked on these ones. I'm just like, does this look like what I used to do? Is this what I'm doing? Yeah. There's so many little things you can, you can try and do. Oh, it looks like... Yeah, I got a little dark earlier. be a design made by me if there's not some kind of scan lines in there. But I don't know if it's going to fit essentially in this portion. Gently. This little space, I don't know what to do with this spot. <laughs> it's just like the last thing that's on here. I can literally just take just a little bit of cheating. This is annoying. So, where is that spot? That's pretty much what I did with the other ones too. All the beef of velvet. I might have just had that there. See, you guys are so smart. What would I do without you? What would I have done? Had I not consulted. So in order to save space, I just pretty much selected just this portion here. Um, let me move this up. Just this little bit, so that I'm not like overloading my computer with, with different um, layers it needs to keep track of. So we can just take whatever was here, just delete it instead. funny to look at because I was doing the other characters right and they appear like once here this panel this panel here this panel here but now I'm dealing with the twins and there are so many characters on this <laughs> you found out how you can make a collection of photos on Google like you have on your pin tweet. Yeah, the Google Photos, that's really helpful. I didn't even realize that was a thing when I was starting out doing like the, um, the Smash banners. It's so handy to have that because it doesn't really limit your space. I don't even know if there's a, a image um, limit. I think there's a, a, a 15 gigabytes for free limit. I use a lot of that for holding videos that I've been editing or that I might need later. But yeah, because it's free, it's just there, it's really handy. Wow, okay. The only difference between that and this one is here I had the um, this little speech bubble going out that says Joker. But this time, I don't really have that, so it feels a little empty over there. At the same time, it's like, I don't really think I need it. If I had this speech bubble, what do I put there? We're just gonna pretend to make it. We're just gonna pretend to make it. Pen tool is exactly what Atlas used 
for the majority of these designs. Praise the pen tool. But then yeah, it's just like so, it's just intrusive. Their, their, their pose doesn't really work with this, so I don't think I really need to put it on here. Yeah, I think it's already pretty busy as it is. I guess I'm just thinking it's so plain in this area that it would be covering, but... Let's try something else then. So you're... oh boy. This portion of the twins will be like that. <laughs> A little bit of dissecting going on here. We'll stick these together. So now that's the portion that's being up, stayed up. Radiant, uh, black and white. Not overlay though. Also reversed. If we do just darken, no, multiply, it'll be, a, it'll be like it's fading out down there, fading to black, but not too intensely or else it's gonna, you're gonna see the, this part right here, it's cutting, so, oh, it's gonna be just a very slight effect, because I don't want to darken her face either. Push it back. I'm sorry if I'm not explaining what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just like trying to make it work. Okay, that's... Man, I spent all that time for like a very slight darkening. <laughs> Joker also has these stars going on, just kind of scattered everywhere, so I'm just going to do a few of those, just to add the variety to it. So thankfully we already have our star ready to go, um, this color, or a little bit lighter, more like what their jacket is, so that color. Or it probably should be lighter in case I overlap it. Sprinkles basically. Just stick one here, just stick one there. And then whatever the heck you want. This too. Where's the hidden hidden one I stuck away? So it's okay to to kind of 
be a little crazy with where you put your placement, where you stick things, because there's just so much. Um, they play with all the space, and it's always just so cool to see. Um, these ones also aren't super noticeable, but I'll add some white stars as well. And then there's these ones. What song is it? Oh! Oh, that's my ringtone. The the one that starts the Persona 5. I'm glad to be around such people of culture. to make it like 95% done and then if I do make some edits it'll just be very small minor things that I can just you may or may not notice and I can just post it up and be like okay it's done it was always like this Isn't that the one that plays when you're fighting that kid? When you're, it's like the classic Shin Megami Tensei fight in the in the game section. For Golden, they did that. In the original, they didn't do the change. But in Persona 4 Golden, they made the I'll Face Myself version of the Mitsuo fight. That's one where you're fighting like that little knight. That one was actually turned 8-bit. I was like, oh, that's cool. Totally didn't need to do that, but they did. That's awesome. stars. Yeah, that nerd. Oh my god. I just think of the stupid Persona 4 animation. And I think he's like, Hi, Yuki. You want to be my lover. And just like, <laughs> oh my god. It's still hilarious to watch. Some of those people actually did more prolific voice acting, I think, later on. This looks like it fits in here. Wow. For a long time, I pronounced their name Him Daisy, but it's Hi I'm Daisy, like in Mario Kart Double Dash. Hi I'm Daisy. And I felt like my mind was blown when I figured that out. Everything was a lie. still there or maybe you came back how's it going are you all right I know you need to study for that final or did you do the final I don't know I'm losing my mind here too I'm looking at too many stars Look at all these stars one hour what are you doing here <laughs> I have, we, we have faith in you. We believe it'll be 
fairly successful. I'm literally just like saying whatever's on my mind right now. There, there's so much I've been trying to process on this thing right at the moment. Doing it on stream is so different. So basically what I did here was just add a, a, a drop shadow to all the stars. Very, very minor. Probably can't tell too much. But like, this game lives for drop shadows. Who's this star? I get a drop shadow. Still need to do a uh, fireworks party one of these days in August, one of these Sundays. So long. Oh. Well, I hope after that is finally over, you get a good rest and a lot of time with the puppy. Sunny, right? Where they changed the, I, I guess they changed the 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 way the name looks so they all end with I E. All the brothers and sisters, all the other, all the assuming this is their brothers sisters. Small puppy. Aw. I look forward to more photos. Luckily, you got here just about the time when I'm going to wrap up, because this, more or less, is what I was going for, what I was trying to do. Um, I think it's pretty much finished, and I might just, yeah, like I said before, I'll just touch up little things here and there, like I might adjust the uh, text here, the way that this looks. So I, do I center it? Do I stick it in here more? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the spelling can totally make all the difference. Absolutely. Man, this looks like such a, a mess. But when you compare it to this one, it's not too different, I hope. That was just the example I was using. Is there anything else I can do with this? How about just one more? One more thing! Put you below. This is my classic drop shadow trick, where I just take the exact layer, I'll copy it, put it below, and then just go to color overlay. And it can be any color you want. Um, I'm gonna be doing white though, I think. And it won't be the entire thing. Because there's already like a black shadow down here, so that's like kind of redundant to have a white in the same spot. So I'm just gonna overlay that. Or capture that with the lasso and then delete it. Just needed enough white to kind of break up all the blue, essentially. I'm gonna save that. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Christian's got all the facts. And Kyle's like, uh, looks great. I'm glad though. Like, man, this was <laughs> the one I did as a as a sample. Um, I, I did like a test stream not long ago, a couple days ago, with a few friends, and um, I did Joker on that one. I, I was trying to make. Uh, something simple to see if I can just handle doing this but then um, I thought it was gonna be kind of the same deal but man this got more complicated than I expected but at least I know I can handle it that way I had no idea I would spend at two and a half hours on this one butterfly kiss yes I love that song too that one and the other shop layer cake uh, the two shop themes for the medicine and for the guns, the, the weapon shop, those are such good themes. And the graphics that go with them, so nice. Everything just kind of flows so nice. That's the kind of design style that kind of shifted the way I did R2. So, yeah, Persona is really influential in the things that I make. But, um, man. I, uh, I think that's about it for this one. I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, my post is a little bit later, who knows? Later today, um, this evening, tomorrow, I don't know. But that's more or less the process. I'm so thankful to have people watch this, mostly or um, heck, all the way through. I think you were here since the Starfire score in. <laughs> It's so crazy to think people are just watching these things for that long. I mean, and, and yet I do the same thing for others, but... Yeah, good to have you here. All of y'all. I'm just gonna... Oh, boom, there we go. The product of spending too much time <laughs> on the little nitpicking things. Yeah, I'll be doing more things in the future. Um, I don't know what of or when. I'll be doing design work. I'll be playing games, hopefully, maybe next stream or the one after. I'll, I'll play an actual game. We'll see how that goes. Um, mm -hmm. It's really helpful when you have the audience that knows what they're what you're talking about and what you're, what you're designing. So like, I think you'll be okay, Kristen, because we're doing like Persona, uh, Fire Emblem, just really random other things here and there that have to do with it. So I'll do some of the Smash Brother ones I've been doing. Um, I've been redoing a lot of the old ones that kind of went on the back burner for a while, but I might start that up again, redo some of the, the older ones to make them look nice again, um, to update them essentially while keeping track of any new characters that come out as well. So it's gonna be harder to do a phone mobile background because it's so like, it's so vertically oriented and these manners are horizontal. So it's a lot easier for people to see everything happening at once. But once I get into that, hopefully it's not gonna be too much of an issue. So if I take, wow, where do I have this stuff? What's the first thing I have here? Oh, of course, it's Sylvain. <laughs> so if I take this one, for example, it's like, when I zoom in, you can't see the whole thing as I'm working on it. This one's a lot easier because it's, I mean, it, obviously it's, hor it's vertically, horizontally, the way it's meant to look. But here, I don't know. It's gonna be tricky to keep it really small because already the screen has comprom it's compromised a bit. So we'll see how that goes. We'll put this boy away. How do you end these things? <laughs> I'm gonna figure that out as we go along. But okay. I'm gonna go ahead. I always prefer mine to end by awkwardly rambling. Oh, I think I'm on track for that one. 
Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, thank you guys. There's about there's a few of you guys in here. Um, if anybody watches this after the fact, uh, I hope there was something to be learned from here. I'll be doing more in the future. And um, it was fun. Y'all made it easier to deal with. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and. Whoops. I need to drink a glass of water. I'm thirsty right here. Alright, guys. I'll see you all soon, okay? Bye.